everyone! Today's video is going to be a simple everyday makeup look for Morena Filipinas out there. So some people have asked me to do a makeup look na babagay sa Morenas and here it is. This is not going to be like sobrang bonggang makeup look. So like I've said, this is just a simple everyday makeup look na pwede nyo gayahin. I will also be giving some tips on how to select makeup na mag enhance or mas magpapagala pa sa ating Morena skin tone. First is the base for the foundation. So, aminin natin tayo mga Filipinas, mahilig tayong gumamit ng whitening products, be it our facial wash or facial soap. Gusto nating i-whiten yung ating face or ating skin tone. So, what happens is that most of us have lighter skin tone sa face compared to our neck or mas maputi yung face natin compared sa ating neck. So, if you're going to buy a foundation, make sure to swatch the foundation dito sa ating jawline, dito sa jawline, uh, from here up to your neck. So, select two shades that is closest to your skin tone and then i-match mo siya or i-swatch mo siya side by side. So, kung alin yung foundation na nag-disappear, sort of hindi parang wala kang nilagay na foundation, then that is your perfect shade or that is your perfect match. Also, all of us Filipinas have yellow undertone or parang yellowish ang ating skin tone even if morena tayo, yellowish pa rin yung undertone natin. So what you need to do is select a foundation na have a yellow undertone kasi some foundations have pink undertone so hindi siya magmamatch sa ating skin tone. Minsan sobrang pale nung foundation or sobrang parang namumula yung face natin compared to our neck because we have a different undertone. I'm going to be using my Maybelline Dream Satin Skin Air Whipped Liquid Foundation and I'm in the shade B2. This is the second to the lightest shade that is available here in the Philippines. They have seven, so meron pang five um, shades that is darker than this if you have a darker skin tone than mine. And by the way, pala, since here in the Philippines, it's always hot and yes, it's better if you use a primer before putting on your foundation. Personally, I don't use any primer because I have regular and dry, regular to dry skin. So if mapuk maglalagay pa ako ng primer, magte dry out na yung skin because I will not be putting any primers. But I suggest you use a primer if you have oily skin and if madalas kayo yung nasa labas. Para it will help the foundation to stick better to your skin and it will make the foundation and your makeup last longer. So let's start. I'll just be putting my foundation the regular way. Foundation actually you can also use uh, your fingers to blend it in. But for me, parang mas mukha siyang seamless or mukha siyang skin like. I will be using a brush. So if you will be putting on foundation, make sure to start here sa medyo center ng face and then just blend it in ng palabas. So here, start ka here and then you blend it out. So that way, magpo-focus yung makeup sa ating um, sa gitna or our T-zone kasi this is where usually yung makeup na wear off agad kasi all of us have oily T-zone. And then if you have more products remaining on your hand, pwede natin siyang ilagay dito sa ating jawline para mas magmatch yung neckline or yung neck natin sa ating face para hindi halata na sobrang magkaiba yung kulay ng face natin sa ating neck. For the eyebrows, one, th one tip that I can give you is to never ever ever use a black eyeliner or eyebrow pencil kasi it will make your face look harsh. It will make your face parang strong. So, kahit na black yung ating hair, make sure that you use a lighter color ng eyebrows. So, if you have black hair, you have to use brown color. So, this is the L'Oreal Super Liner Brow Liner in I think this is in the sh I don't I can't see the shade. I think this is in brunette. So, yan. Ano lang siya. I don't know if you can see, pero yan, um, brown color lang siya. It will be a perfect match for my hair at the moment. Pero sometimes I use then eyeshadow if you want to save up a little money and you don't want to buy 
eyebrow pencils kasi minsan medyo mahal sila. And you have brown eyeshadows, you can also use that. So for this video or for this look, I'm gonna be using my eyeshadow that comes with my MAC Duo. So for that, I'm gonna be using an angled brush that looks like this. This can be go. Uh, this can apply this eyeshadow very well to our eyebrows. And by the way, make sure that you don't um, apply the eyebrow pencil or the eyebrow shadow harshly. So start with um, the bottom side first. So parang iya outline mo siya, and then iya outline mo yung sa taas. So parang gumagawa ka ng outline <laughs> and then just fill it in and make sure that you use a light hand wag masyadong madiin so it will look harsh it will look natural so that is my eyebrow or my right eyebrow done compare natin siya sa kaliwa you can definitely see the difference so yeah I think I am okay with my eyebrows now. I personally don't like very defined eyebrows. I like it to look bushy and look more natural. But you do you. If you prefer super defined eyebrows, then do it. Alright, so for the eyeshadows, since all of us Filipinas have either black or brown eyes, um, one color or the shade that will enhance our eyes or will make our eyes look prettier are neutral shades so those are like brown, gold, copper, bronze, all of the shades so parang kumaga shades of brown so for this look I'm gonna be using the Revlon color stay in the shade Brazen so I'll be using these two shades right here so to make it more simple this um, um, parang bronzy gold shade I'll be using all over my lid then this one na parang dark brown I'll be using here lang sa outer corner of my eyes or medyo sa crease na din. so yeah so for Filipinas um, I suggest you use uh, brown or neutral shades ng eyeshadow there is nothing wrong with using um, colorful eyeshadows like blue green you can also use silver you do you, it depends on you if you wanted to use that, but if you really want to enhance your eyes or if you want to make your eyes look prettier, if you want to enhance your beauty, these colors, ito yung mas nagbabagay sa atin. To apply the bronzy shadow or the bronzy gold eyeshadow, I'll be using this flat shader brush from Itude or Itude House. Actually, let me just zoom you in a little bit para mas makita natin yung eyeshadow. Ayan, so that is what it looks like after putting on one eyeshadow. So actually, you can use it on, on its own. You can use like this um, blending brush, big blending brush, and then just blend it um, all over your eyelids. Para mas magmukha siyang natural, hindi siya magmukha harsh. But if you wanted to define your eyeshadow more of what's my definition shop we can or we can use this um, darker eyeshadow right here and then just apply it right here it's a crease like this way and then put on a mascara since we put in eyeshadow mask complete yung look if you put in a mascara so let's curl our eyelashes first for my mascara today I'll be using the Maybelline the Magnum volume express mascara and then one tip pala that I've read somewhere is that um, if you wanted to put mascara you can just get a mirror put it sa baba and then just look down and put the Mascara. It's easier daw compared sa pag nakatingin ka sa taas. And then parang mag um, stretch yung or mag wrinkle yung forehead mo. Which I think is true. I believe that pero sometimes nakakalimutan kong gawin yung mas nakakalimutan na yung ganito maglagay. Since as Filipinas have morena or medium skin tones or darker skin tones, 
ang bagay sa atin na blush ay more on the peach side. Um, yung mga medyo orange na side or parang mauve, parang old rose colors. Do not use bright pink blushes. Again, if you prefer those colors, there's nothing wrong with it. You do what you want. Pero if you wanted really to enhance your morena skin tone, then use the peachy or mauve shades of blushes. When you put on blush, you have to make sure that it would look natural. So, dapat similar siya to the way you look if you blush if you blush naturally. So, one tip is that you pinch down your face, or if you you pinch down your face and then pag nag um, what they call that? Nag blush ka or nag color siya. And if it turns peachy or mauve, then that is your natural blush. And yak yeah, select a color that will mimic or that is closest to that shade. So for me, the closest shade to my normal or natural blush is more on the peachy pinky side, depending on my current skin tone, whether I'm tan or medyo mas maputi ako at the moment. I have some options here of blushes that I think suits Filipina or Morena skin tones. This is a shade. This is a blush from NYX, and this is the shade there. So, meron siyang peach um, shades right there. Medyo may bronzy din. Bagay siya for Filipina skin tones. I also have Mac Melba. Medyo pricey siya, pero yeah, kung makahanap kayo ng color that is similar to this. This is very nice on Filipina skin tone, on Morena skin tones. And then I also have medyo mauve, medyo red shade. Hindi siya red, medyo mauve lang, parang dark pink um, shade from Sephora. This is a cream blush. Again, you don't have to buy the same product or if you can use, or if you can see a similar shade like this. Yep, bagay siya, again, for Filipinas or for Morenas. And then, one from Max Factor. This is a mauve shade. Medyo meron siyang shimmer, so if you like shimmery blushes, this will also look good on you. Since I have shimmery eyeshadows, I prefer putting matte blush, so I'll be using, today I'll be using my MAC Melba blush. And then the way you put on blush is, put smile ka daw and put it on the apples of your cheeks, so smile! Another tip of putting on a blush is pag nagpinapawisan ka or like pag nainitan ka and then nag namula yung face mo or nag-blush ka, that is where your natural blush is. So, dun mo lang din daw ilagay yung blush mo. Smile! And for the lips, again, Make sure that if you're going to choose a lipstick, choose the shade that is closest to the shade or the natural shade of your lips. This is the lipstick that I'm suggesting. This will look good on, I think, all skin tones. Not just Morena skin tones, even the pale Filipinas can also, or fair, the fair skin Filipinas can also wear this. This is the shade Sultry from Revlon Matte Balm. It looks like this. So, mauve shade lang siya. Let me swatch it on the back of my hand. Yeah, so it looks natural actually. Medyo malapit siya sa normal or um, natural skin tone or natural shade of my lips. And then I also have another lipstick that I think would look good on Morena skin tones. It's this, it's this NYX in, in the shade Natural. It looks like this. Again, there's nothing wrong with using colorful lipsticks like violet, neon pink, pink. There's nothing wrong with it. But yes, these are just suggestions if you want to do enhance your ating morena skin tone. Today, I will use this lipstick right here. The last thing for me, this is optional because I don't really use this on a daily basis and this is a concealer so if you're going to choose or if you're going to use a concealer make sure that your concealer is one to two shades lighter than the foundation the reason is that most of us have, have 
dark under eyes so this will act as an illuminator or parang it will brighten up the face if you use a lighter um, concealer. But of course make sure that it's not super light na obvious na magkaiba yung shade ng foundation and the concealer. So again, one to two shades lighter. And the way I put on my concealer, maglalagay lang tayo ng parang inverted triangle. Looks like this. I don't want to put a lot of concealers actually. So, konti lang ilalagay natin. And then just blend it with the ring finger kasi you don't want to apply too much pressure on your under eyes kasi mas magali siyang mag-tug or mas magali ka magkakaroon ng wrinkles if you tug on your eye, under eyes. If you're going to put in concealer, make sure na nalagyan din yung inner corners of the eyes to make your look or to make you look brighter to brighten up the face. I don't know if you can see the difference on nung side na merong concealer and nung wala. Pero it definitely brightens up the look. So if you prefer putting on concealer, then do it. By the way, if you think the lipstick that I put in is medyo dark na for the entire look. I changed my lipstick and this is the shade Brave from MAC. So yeah. I just turned off my light so you can see the makeup look with a more natural light. So that completes this look. This is my take for the everyday, simple everyday look for Filipina or for the Morena skin tones. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I hope you find this video helpful if you did please give it a big big thumbs up and i hope you subscribe so you don't miss future videos and i will see you on the next one bye